Okay, they banned Raven, guys. It's over for me. Is this over for me? Let's do a Kaisi game, maybe no. Uh, no way, man. Are you serious? Are you serious? There's no way. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I think I go Hail of Blades now. When you go lethal tempo with AP build, when they're really tanky. But this game, they have range support. Their only tank is kind of Bully Bear, and he's not that tanky. Like, they don't have any tanks. Doesn't get better than this. I'll go my patented Eclipse Kaisa build. My favorite. But sometimes I feel like Harry Potter with these glasses. Like, losing a game of League of Legends is not necessarily a time wasted. If you played a normal game of League and you can say, oh, I could have done this better, I could have done this better, and we would have won, or, you know, I learned something this game, or blah, 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 right? Sure, it might feel bad. It might still be frustrating. It always sucks to lose. But it's not a waste of time. The, the difference between having a game that feels like a waste of time, because someone was just a time thief, in that game might be an accident thief too if i'm being honest but like they were just trying to steal your time in that game okay crazy flash do we actually have to drop push maybe we do yeah no we don't we gotta use our relic beast Nice, dodge the Varusy. The only thing is now, if we had uh, Nautilus Flash, you know, it would be much easier to kill them. I like it. I just might stay. Mm, I think just Hex Flash from the bush. It's better. Dominions? Oh my god, I do. Still worth though. Mm, I think I go pick extra fillable to be honest. I don't know why the melee has nullifying orb. Yeah, that's a good question. What do you consider before deciding to cheat or stay in line? A lot of the time it's due to like, there's like multiple things that goes through my mind. One is like, what type of champ am I playing? If I'm playing Draven or Kalista, ideally I'd like to not cheat or recall and I'd like to extend the laning phase or not extend the laning phase, but extend the first recall and just like keep poking them under tower, keep wave control, not let them breathe, you know? The second thing is like, where's my jungler pathing? If my jungler's pathing top, the way higher chance that I'll cheat her. Very unlikely that I'll cheat her if my jungler's pathing bot lane. Because then I want to like use my prior for something. Either if it's securing crab, or it's like invading, or something. You know, just do something around bot lane. To abuse the fact that we have push. Nice try, nice try. We have to wait and play on the bounce now, I think, because he hooked. That's a good W, because he got mega minion blocked. And also where enemy jungler is pathing, if we know. Like if enemy jungler is pathing to bot and my jungler is pathing to top, then most likely the best thing you can do if you have prio is to cheat a recall. Because it just makes you so safe, you know. But a lot of, the, most of the time you won't know where enemy jungler is pathing, so. Get up, stand firm, Moving target lives longer. At the flash the virus e. Nice. Good run by TF. I think I could have flashed the aggro there. Like I flashed backwards the virus e. I for sure need to flash the virus e, because otherwise he gets Q cooldown reset. And it's much harder to flash the virus Q than it is to flash the virus e. So it's like, why wouldn't you flash the virus e, you know? I think I could have maybe flashed like forward instead of backwards. It ended up working out because TF could ult both, so. A bit much, no? Yeah, I'm trolling a bit, maybe. Ah. It's up being one for one, actually. It's fight or flight. Only now, I do not run. Oh. I fucked up my ward because I panicked a bit when I saw him. Oh, 
I want a base soon, but not yet. I want a base when I have Eclipse and a Longsword. I get Q above. Yeah, she's using all spells. Or... Kill. That was nice though. Sucks a bit that he got the kill, but... Nice. Let's get the clips now, we get Q-Evolve, and we are really, really strong now. So I'm not going to be building this Longsword into anything, because I want to go AP. Why would you not go Cull over Longsword, you might ask? The thing is, if I go Cull, I'm pretty sure I need one more level for Q-Evolve. I think you get it at level 8, if my memory serves me right. And also the math, like it would have to be 103 right now to give me a threat, because Cull is 380 less. And also then I wouldn't afford boots. And I want boots. I didn't get the Q. If I get the Q there, I can get the Q auto and I get the Eclipse broken. Oh my god. What are these pings, bro? I nearly got one shot there, but luckily I didn't. But it ended up being okay. I actually got Sed's shut down. They do get Drake though, which is kind of annoying. I didn't think Oliver could get onto me there, but he just fucking jumped onto me with ult. How the fuck do we lose this so hard? Where's my damage? Where's our damage? We put a lot of resources into getting top back in the game. And as a result, Varus got back in the game when he was so far behind. Well, Varus didn't get any kills, so shame. I mean, this tower is gone. Over double TP. I mean, the tower is still gone, but I can kill them afterwards now. They want to turn on me, dodge the Varus ult. Nice. I'll let TF take over on bot lane because I need the base and probably he doesn't. Or he doesn't need the base as much as I do at least. Like I feel like ADC went ahead is the role that carries the hardest. But the problem is just that like why I think ADC has like less agency than other roles is that for example this game, a lot of the reason why I got ahead and why I also lost my lead has nothing to do with me. I got ahead mostly because of Nautilus, and then my lead kind of disappeared mostly because Kha'Zix TF started going topside only. Of course, I was also playing the fights well and stuff like that, and that matters too. Uh, I don't think I can kill him, to be honest, unless you knock him to me. Can't. But let's just get the Drake, I guess. Oh, what the fuck? That guy's trolling hard here. I didn't need to hold the action. They double tp feed? No, Sed just walked, I guess. What the fuck was our caustics and all this? Usually, so kill the team with Drake's kind of wins. Obviously, the guys can't come from YouTube, so it's been really boring to watch. Bro, I'm sorry. That's all I've been playing pretty much. Like, I realized I sent my editor, and it's just like fucking 10 Zeri games, and I'm just like, well, she's. I think she's the best ADC right now, and she's like fun to play. But it's been a bit of much, yeah. He split up so hard. Maybe it was my bad, maybe I should hold it in. Posse's into it, she got one shot. Definitely should have been better than a 2 for 2 after we killed the Zed. I think the most fun champions to watch for me are like, yeah, Astro is really fun. I think Kai's is fun to watch. I think Kalista can be really fun. Uh, Aphelios, I think, can be really nice. As long as it's like a, you know, cool Aphelios game. Like, if it's an Aphelios game where the Aphelios has to go fleet and he's just farming waves and doing nothing, yeah, of course it's gonna be boring. I don't think I need to ult, you know. Oh, he kinda knocked her out of my... Maybe I should ult it. Whatever, now I chose not to ult it, so... We're gonna get it. Why did you go AP this game? Oh, wait, I think he's rolling. Have to plant C9, that's nice. Hope with W's if they want to fight it, but I think I want a base. Whenever Zed ults you, 
Use your skill shot behind you. He always ends up behind you. I think I go zone is next. It's really good zone is game. Because I don't think fighting without me is the play here. Um. Fully unironically. Yes, I can. Oh shit, that was difficult. But well, this Melio champ right now is going a little bit too bonkers. Oh, where's my damage? Fully unironically, not Capi you know what I mean? Uh, are we just team capped? Comp capped? I think we're comp capped by the way. I'm pretty sure we're comp capped. Our team has no damage. Our team has no fucking damage. There's something wrong with our champions that we've locked in. No way, bruh. We know they're not on Nash. Why are you walking there? Who pushed? Bro, the Kassanta pushed the Cassio out of my W, so I get Cassio stunned. That's crazy, no? Oh my god, that was so unlucky. Kassi is always like the fed assassin. Kassi is in Italy. The most fed, useless fed assassins. And that's just facts. Oh, we tried, guys. Where is, where is my damage? It's just insanity. Insanity how little my damage. I have Crypt Bloom by the way, I have Pen. Maybe I should go Rage Blade? Just like lean into the autos? Why did you go AP again? The thing is they don't have armor either. They don't have armor or armor. I'm just fucking useless. Long chase here. We actually fuck first my damage. Oh, how did Kha'Zix die too, man? Or maybe Volibear is the answer. Oh, they they infinite. Point seven attack speed. I've never been draft gapped so hard in my life. But maybe I should have went a different build. But what build would even save this, you know? Yeah, I could have went poke build. Maybe that would have been good. Could have went the stat to Ginsu, yeah. Maybe that could have been the angle. I'm not sure. I don't think AD, AD DPS is the way. I don't think AD does anything more than AP here. I don't know, weird, yeah. I think Milio was mega OP here.